goes on. It's the platypus, found only in eastern Australia, and one of the world's wonders. It's a finely furred animal with a duck-like bill, webbed feet and beaver tail. Semi-amphibious, it burrows in the ground like a rabbit. But queerest contrast of all is that it lays eggs and yet suckles its young. The platypus rarely lives and has never bred in captivity. That is, not until Jack and Jill, inmates of an Australian animal sanctuary, took it into their heads to make history. The bill is not hard and duck-like, but of leathery skin, nerve-charged. The males have a poison spur on the hind flipper, poison which might kill a dog, but not a man. Domestic scene shows female with two recently hatched young. Months ago, it was noticed that Jill was building a nest. Then she disappeared for six days and emerged to eat 400 worms, 330 chafer grubs, and sundry other delicacies in one night. It was obvious that she was preparing to become a mother. In due course, they dug down and uncovered the burrow. A well-developed youngster was brought to light, the first to be born in captivity. The baby platypus does not emerge from the burrow until it's over three months old. When startled London scientists saw a dead platypus specimen a hundred years ago, they said it was a fake. The family eats three and a half pounds of land crabs and worms a day. It costs ten pounds a week to keep them. They're most timid creatures, but Jill, captured very young, is quite friendly with her keepers. Like a lot of human beings, the way to the heart lies through the tummy. 